in this video, we're going to be doing some cleanup work. And what I mean by that is, for example, our button called create server, that should not be uh, named create server. Instead, we have our button here, create server final, that actually creates a server. And same thing with our C++ code, when we call join server, this doesn't actually join the server. This currently is set to just find the sessions. So we're going to be changing these names around, getting them to where they make sense. And it's just going to be easier to do this now than later when we have more code introduced to our, well, hosting. So I'm going to start off in Blueprint. So let's figure everything out. So starting from, let's minimize all these. The main panel. So we have our button called Create Server. I'm going to change this name to create server. Uh, I just call it load create server. Then that when it's clicked, it loads this widget here. Then we have the button called create server. And I'm going to change this to just create server. So it makes a little more sense. Um, let's see here. I think we need to do our join as well. That's called view servers. I want to change the text box to find servers. And the button is called B underscore server list. Yeah, that's fine. Then our join, we have one called refresh servers. Yeah, I want to do that. And leave the button the same. Trying to think of what all really needs to be changed name-wise. I think that's actually it for Blueprint. Yeah. So now we're going to change some of our names here. So where we have join server, this is where we're going to change the function names. So I'm going to change this from join servers to find servers. Let's see, should it be find servers or generate server list? Yeah, I want to leave it as find servers. So find servers. I'm going to change that UE log just to make it a little more clear. Then we have our find serve on find server. Yeah, on find sessions complete. That's all set up to be the same. I'm going to compile. day now there we go refresh this node all right it's no longer called that so what was it find servers link that up and link up the binding of the event and I'm going to move our uh, event up I'm gonna go ahead and delete it I want to move it up to our event construct. So that's where we're going to bind it. Just like so. Compile and save. So that way it's just out of here and it's a little bit cleaner. So I want to actually do find servers not on the refresh servers but when we actually click the button what is load create server? Oh, right. I'm going to have it so when we press the button for server list, it's going to automatically start finding the servers, like so. So we're going to set the active widget, and then it's going to start finding servers. So I want to disconnect the refresh servers for now. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. And when we actually go to refresh the server, what we're going to do is we're going to empty out the widget. 
So I want to make a new. Did we add a new function? Yeah, add a new function. Let's call it clear server list, like so. And compile save. And it's going to be our list box. Oh, scroll box, sorry. So we're going to get it. We're going to clear. Yep, we're going to do clear children. And that's all. So when we click refresh servers, we want to clear the server list. And then we want to refresh the servers. Well, find the servers. Uh, eventually we'll make it so the servers that are there, we're going to leave when we press refresh, or we're going to try to search through them and see which one's still valid and that kind of stuff. I got to see if you, if there's an easy way to actually check and see if the server is still, or the session still active. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I'm thinking that's pretty much all for now. All right, so we should have our join button somewhere. Unless I did not end up making one. Okay, I did not, so that's not done yet. All right, so I think we're good. I'm just gonna give a quick test real quick. Make sure everything calls what it needs to. Create server, test, create server. Find servers. Let's see if it automatically loads it up, which it did call it, and it did. So now I'm going to press refresh servers again. It clears it out, starts looking for the servers again, and there it is. All right, so that is good. Come back, click it. So that's going to be a bug that we're going to have to fix. So I think. We're going to actually make a little feature here. Again, we're just going to simply do this one in Blueprint. So I'm going to make a Boolean. So let's see. Call this one. Has searched for servers. Let's see. Is that what I want to call it or no? Initial server search started. Default value is going to be false. And once we click refresh servers, that's where we're going to do our check. So we're going to do if, or a branch in this case. Wait, not refresh servers, sorry. Uh, server list. So move it up here. And I need to do this after the setting of the widget. My apologies. So I can do that check here. Actually, do that. Before this, I'm kind of all over the place right now. All right, so if initial server has started, well, if it has not started, we're going to do this. Then we're going to set this, oops, to equal true. Let's give it a test, and this should make it so once we press, well, I'll show you here in a second. 
Let's uh, create server, blah, blah, blah. Find servers. All right, should say finding server because we're searching. And it found the server. So now when I go back and then I press find server again, it stays the same. And it is not looking for another set of servers until I press refresh servers, in which case it starts looking again. Cleared it out and we should have another one. Yep, just like so. Go back, click again, and we're good to go. So what we've done now is when we press, when we go to view the server list, it automatically starts viewing the servers. Well, it starts loading the servers. So once we do that, well, essentially once that's happened, we, um, we don't want it to happen again when we go to view the server list. Instead, we want to keep that server list there until we press refresh servers. So that's what this little control boolean is for. It keeps track of that. So if we have not performed the initial search, we will find the servers once we view the server list, and then we set that boolean to true. So that way it will never, unless we set it to false, re or, uh, it will never search for servers. Uh, what, am I what am I saying here? It, will never, it won't search for servers once we click the button to view the server list. It will only search after that once we click to refresh servers. So, that is all for this video. We got everything kind of, at least name-wise, cleaned up a bit. And we will be continuing on with the next one where we start working on our, uh, our server slots. So that way we can add just more information to them, set them up properly so no super long names and that kind of stuff. And just make it a little bit more pleasing. So I'll see you then.